Abdurji is well into his 60s and recalls the days when people in his village would use footpaths and the space around their homes as a defecation site. Today, he says the ways of the world are coming to Kengar. He has a new toilet with a facility to flush water and take water to shower. Abdurji has been very creative and has built a rainwater storage facility to ensure his family's hygiene. Abdurji has been a beneficiary of the Joint Support Program implemented by the Department of Local Governance with support from Danita and the Poverty Environment Initiative. Kengar is one of the remotest and poorest villages of Mongar district. In 2012, the Joint Support Program carried out trainings on sustainable development and provided local officials with tools to identify poverty environment linkages and design sustainable solutions. <laughs> As a follow-up to the training, Ken Kar received a grant from the Joint Support Program, better known as the Capacity Development Grant, to fund sustainable interventions. After discussions in the Kiwag Assembly, the community decided to prioritize the construction of toilets. The grant was used to buy materials, and villagers received trainings on how to construct toilets that allowed them to build their own. Some, like Op Dorji, were surprisingly creative. Karma Dorji, the village headman, actively oversees the construction of toilets in his community. <laughs> The villagers receive regular visits by the health assistant posted in Kenkar, who educates them on personal hygiene and how to avoid diseases through basic health care. Kenkar has a little over 400 households and has installed 380 toilets. Thanks to the Capacity Development Grant, it is now well on track on ensuring that every family has a proper toilet and a decent way of life. Today, several villages in Bhutan are part of the Joint Support Program Initiative to train local governments on sustainable development 
and to provide them with grants to complement their scarce financial resources to meet community-level needs.